The first ever image of a black hole came from the Event Horizon Telescope, and here's what it looked like. This black hole lies at the centre of the galaxy M87, and it has a mass equal to around 6.5 billion solar masses. That's 6.5 billion times the mass of our sun, which is quite literally insane. So when you look at the image, the colour that you see around the black hole, this comes from the emission of hot gas that's swirling around it, and this is under the influence of strong gravity near the black hole's event horizon. Now, the event horizon itself is what is known as the boundary beyond which no light or other radiation can escape, so you pop yourself on that event horizon, you're not getting back out again. For me personally, having specialised in astrophysics and mathematics during my masters, I learned a lot about the behaviour of accretion disks and astrophysical fluid dynamics behind black holes. So I personally find them incredible and I find them so, so cool. There's so many different areas of mathematics that is interlinked with black holes. And what I find so cool is the research that is coming out now about black holes and the more we learn, the more excited I get about what we're going to continue to learn about black holes in the future. Now, something that is very closely linked to black holes is the speed of light. The constant itself pops up in many different formulas when discussing the behaviour of black holes. According to physics, an infinite amount of energy is needed to allow an object to move at the speed of light, and therefore it's pretty improbable that anything can go the speed of light other than light itself. But that begs the question, can we get things that are close to the speed of light? Can we have areas in our universe that have so much energy that approaching the speed of light is almost possible? And the answer to that is yes. And as you guessed it, black holes are an area with an immense amount of energy and therefore we can look at what that energy means around the black hole. Earlier I showed you an image of the M87 black hole and this black hole produces so much energy that in turn it produces, and I quote, a million light year long Jedi lightsabers through structures that are known as relativistic jets. These relativistic jets can actually stretch to up to 10 times the length of our Milky Way, which is quite literally ridiculous. The length of these Jedi lightsabers uh, it is just incredible and it's another wonder in astrophysics, you know, we're able to look at these and see them and for me I just I find it absolutely incredible. If you want some sort of comparison to understand what kind of energy that we're actually getting, there's a statement by George Wong at Princeton University and he said that if you took the Earth, turned it all into TNT and blew it up a thousand times a second for millions and millions of years, that's the amount of energy that we're getting out of M87. Even with that statement, it's so hard to comprehend the amount of energy that M87 is producing. Yeah, <laughs> it's just insane. Another wonder of astrophysics. We talked about the relativistic jet of the lightsaber, and the question now is, how is this being produced? There's obviously still a lot of research going on, but recent findings are really, really cool. In early November 2023, the Event Horizon Telescope collaboration, the same team who took the image of the black hole in the first place, they did some research and they revealed a paper that modelled the way electric fields of light rotate around the supermassive black hole. This research essentially found that light at the edge of a black hole spirals as it escapes the gravity of the black hole, and this is a signature that is known as circular polarisation. So again, why is this important? Having information about how the light's electric field rotates in turn gives us information about the magnetic field around the black hole. Now, this is where it gets interesting because it is believed that the magnetic field is responsible for these jets. The magnetic field of M87 is strong enough to occasionally stop the black hole from engulfing nearby matter by instead launching it along its jets, which again is crazy because everything that we ever thought about with black holes, that once you pass that event horizon, uh, everything gets engulfed and the possibility that this, the magnetic field of this black hole is so strong that instead of engulfing matter, it's launching it along its jets. It's an incredible phenomena. Andrew Chael at Princeton University, and who also co-authored the paper, said that these new results give us confidence that our picture of a strong magnetic field permeating the hot gas surrounding the black hole is the right one. The unprecedented EHT observations are allowing us to answer long-standing questions about how black holes consume matter and launch jets outside their host galaxies. 
pretty awesome. These findings suggest that energy is being launched along the black hole's jets. Now, these jets are really, really cool, and I should know that because I specialised in the mathematics behind these jets on my master's, where I studied the mathematics in astrophysics. And one of the modules I took was astrophysical fluid dynamics, and I learned all about jets in such scenarios, which was so, so cool. Now, as you can imagine, there was a lot of maths in this course and a lot of maths that I had to refresh on. And if you're looking to improve your mathematics, then I would recommend checking out Brilliant.org. Brilliant is a platform where you learn by doing. With thousands of courses in maths as well as science, including astrophysics, data science, programming and even AI, each lesson is filled with hands-on problem solving. This allows you to play with concepts, which is a method that is proven to be six times more effective than simply watching lectures. Brilliant helps you build knowledge, little by little, each day. As a maths and tech nerd myself, one of my favourite courses is their course on how large language models work. To try out this course, as well as everything else that Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org forward slash Elisitome or click the link in the description and you'll also get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. Thank you to Brilliant for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the astrophysics. The Research Institute is also considering the possibility that these jets are being launched into other black holes themselves, so they are somehow connected, so that the energy pushed from M87 is being pushed into another black hole, which is quite an elaborate possibility. But if that was true, again, incredible astrophysics research. As with most astrophysics research, the team itself is going to need further observations to say with 100% certainty whether there is energy flowing out of the black hole surface itself. A quote from Lupsaska said, I think it's extremely likely the black hole powers the jet, but we can't prove it yet. And that, I just, that, that quote in itself it is incredible. I'm so excited to see the future research on this. But I just think M87 itself as a black hole is, is fascinating. We're learning so much about it and it's continuing to break stereotypes. So it's an incredibly exciting area of research. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.